Hey everybody, in this video I want to show you the differences between installing Android Auto or Apple CarPlay on a Honda Connect system. Hey there, Brian here. So just to explain a couple of things. Uh, this is going to apply from Civic 2017 onwards, Honda CRV 2019 onwards, uh, Honda HRV probably 22 onwards, uh, Honda Jazz 2021 onwards. So any the so the, the first version of Honda Connect it won't have the smartphone connection ability. This is the second version of Honda Connect in those years that we've talked about. Let's start off with Android Auto. So get an Android phone, go into your Play Store, then look for Android Auto, and you'll see it, there's two choices. Look for the top one. So the bottom one says phone screens. That's not the one you want. You want the top one, which is Android Auto. If your phone already has it installed, great, but if it doesn't, it'll say install up here and just click that. Two points of note, Android Auto is an app. So it's an actual app you're putting on your phone. The second thing that's important is you need a genuine lead. So I've seen people try to connect up Android Auto. It's not working. It's because they haven't got the genuine lead. So unfortunately, Android Auto doesn't seem to work very well with the non-genuine lead. So it has to be the proper lead for your phone. And actually, two things. The third thing, when you're putting it in, there's two areas you've got USB on a uh, Hondas. One of them will be suitable and one of them won't. So it'll be marked on the USB point. On a Civic in this case, the USB point back here will not support it. So it's got to be the one under the tunnel here. But you'll see, depending if it's CRV or other models, it'll actually show you along through here. One of them has the smartphone symbol. One little point of reference actually on the radio, you see here smartphone connection, it's currently grayed out, it won't do anything. But that's going to be important as we get further along. So get your lead, plug it into the right USB port. And then after that, once you actually plug it in, into the phone, it'll actually recognize, the radio will recognize on screen. So always enable basically, it'll pick always enable. And that means now it's saying to check your phone. On your phone, it's going to have some instructions. So you're going to start toggling through the instructions, basically accepting and allowing terms and conditions. Pretty straightforward stuff. Keep going. And then after that, in this case, it's going to say disconnect Bluetooth. That's fine. We want to disconnect Bluetooth because we're going to be moving through the app and the lead. Once we've done that, then they'll recognize each other. You can press OK on the screen and you're ready to go. The great thing about Android Auto is you have Google Maps. So the car has Garmin Maps, which are really, they're pretty good, but Google Maps is just uh, excellent. The little circle in the bottom left here allows you to bring yourself into the main menu, Spotify, YouTube Music, WhatsApp, loads of apps that you can use while you're driving. And then when you're not using Android Auto, you can just basically hit the Honda button. It brings you into the Honda menu. Do you remember the smartphone connection button? That's turned into Android Auto now. So if you want to go straight back in, you just press that. So that's Android Auto. Android Auto, I find <coughs> over the years, I found it difficult to set up uh, for a lot of people when they were trying to get going. A lot of it revolved around having in the incorrect lead. Um, but there was other various issues. I have to say in the last while, a lot of phones have gotten a lot better and it seems to be much more straightforward and it seems to be installed on a lot of Android phones now as well. So that's saving some routing. Anyway, I have an iPhone that I'm using at the moment, which is uh, filming here. So I'm just going to show you Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay does not use an app. Literally just plugs in. That's it. Nothing else. Only the plug no app involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this straight into the radio. Again, the same rules apply about plugging it in, but one cool thing about Apple CarPlay is you don't need, like I have a crappy five euro lead and it actually works. For some reason, the cheap leads have no problem working with Apple CarPlay, maybe because it's not through an app. Uh, so that is definitely one advantage it has over Android Auto. And secondly, the simplicity where you're not relying on an app. So again, we're back to square one. I'm going to get my lead and plug it into the side of the phone. You'll see the, feel the click as I plugged it in. Again, like Android Auto, always enable. Smartphone connection is going to turn into Apple CarPlay in a sec, which it has. Apple CarPlay. And that's pretty much it. So that's like an Apple phone then. And you have these little buttons down at the bottom to bring you into the menus you want. Um, maps have come up through there as well and then I can toggle away through these. So again, it seems like there's probably more on the Android, but I think that's just maybe because there was more apps on the phone. I don't really have many apps on my uh, Apple iPhone. But again, very simple and straightforward. And similarly, again, there's a Honda button if I want to go out, and if I want to get back in, Apple CarPlay. For me, I just found Apple to be an awful lot more user-friendly, but like I was saying to you, the Android stuff has improved over the last while, so I think it's getting a little bit easier because it seems to be installed or pre-installed on a lot of phones now. So anyway, hopefully you got a better idea of how to install those two uh, items on, or to use those two items on that Honda Connect. If there's anything I've missed or anything you want to know, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to find out the information for you. Hopefully the video is useful. Thanks for watching.